Dear statesmen and women, youths, I am um, Barrister Halima Alpha PhD. I was born some 60 years ago to the family of Alhaji Kadri Obaka and Haji Hawa'u. I'm from Ida and Angba. My, my father Lineage is from Ida Axis, while my mother is from Angba Axis. I went to NA Primary School in Ida. I was born in Ida General Hospital, to be precise, and then went to NA Primary School in Ida, from where I went to Kaba, now Kaba Federal Government College, after which I got married. After the marriage, I went into School of Nursing in Sokoto. I graduated, I have nursing midwifery certificate and then joined the NMPC in Kaduna. I worked there just for 10 years. I resigned to go back to school where I went to read law. I had my first degree in law in 2003. I then went for my master's and then went for my MPhil and finally for my PhD all in ABU Zaria which I got my PhD in 2017. My dear states, women, men, and youths, I believe we have come a long way in the history of Kogi State by the men leading us always, and they have done their best to the best of their ability. I'm calling on you co guides now that you should now have a rethink and have a woman this time as your governor. A woman knows where it pains because she's a mother and a woman is imbibed and endowed with such wisdom that she can carry so many things at the same time. So I'm calling on co guys, I'm appealing on you to please have a rethink that this time the woman at least will do from where our dear governor will eventually stop and is going to be a an all-inclusive government, by the grace of God, is going to be a government that, once in a while, I have to go and make consultation, even with the former governor, to make things right for our states. When he becomes former, I have to bring in other incentives that will make our youths to differ from vices and embrace virtue. We thank God today that our able governor, Yahya Bello, has tried by containing the security challenges we have in our states. You can see that in other states it's more than worse, but our own each time he take it headlong and make sure that he keeps it at bay. Security, you all know, is the bane of development. If you don't have security, you can never go further. With security, education can go on smoothly. Health can go on smoothly. Infrastructural development can go on smoothly. But without security, which is number one, all this will never happen. So I'm calling on you co guides. Just as you know, the men can handle the states. All along it has been men. And we thank God for a governor that we have now who is very, very, very gender sensitive. You can see from the last election of um, local government chairman and even the state ESCO women are put in strategic positions. <laughs> and that is what endeared Jacoban to the nation, especially to women, because he respects womanhood by bringing them out for people at least to tap from their potentials. Women are gifted beings, and women the sign of women alone is love. And again, love will shine in our state. Our, our governor has tried very much to unite us 
from where he picked us from. We are not as united as we are today. So, I'm calling on you, co guides, with all sense of responsibility to please and please vote for womanhood, vote for a woman who has been there for over close to 20 years and have a track, impeccable track record in my political sojourn. In this country today, from the north to west to south to east, mm-hmm. I am known in the political hierarchy. And I wish that the whole co guides will stand by me and make sure that a woman is given this opportunity this time by our able governor, Yahya Bello. He has done it before by making all women vice chairman. And I know now he's going to be the hero of democracy when his story will be written. Thank you and God bless you.